Mind maps are a trusty staple for many of us. Often used as a creative way to structure existing ideas, mind maps are a great way to categorize data in a presentable yet free-flowing way. They typically start with a central topic or idea, which branches out into associated topics and subtopics. Mind maps are a great starting point for ideating your next YouTube video topic, for example, or if you're looking for new markets to explore or new product features to launch. They can help you overcome the dreaded writer's block and grouping ideas together can help you identify trends or overlaps in information. In this video, we'll look at how to build mind maps in Draw.io along with some helpful tips and tricks. First, let's talk about the board editor. The Draw.io board editor gives you an infinite canvas for you to get creative and map out your ideas. If your teams are using Draw.io for Confluence, then you automatically have access to the diagram and board editor at no extra cost. So there's a few ways of approaching building mind maps in Draw.io. You can add shapes without using the shape library in the left menu. To do this, hover over a shape to see the blue direction arrow, then click on an arrow to add a new shape. This allows your mind map to grow organically as you go. If you want to create a mind map that follows the hierarchical structure of trunk, branch, subbranch, etc., then there's a shape in the library that is specifically just for that. You can locate this shape by heading to the shape library and selecting the mind map shape. You can also use the search bar. To add more branches, hover over a shape and use the directional arrows to add a new type topic or branch. If you're not seeing the expand collapse icon to the left of your shape, click on the element that you wish to collapse. Then in the style tab in the right side menu, check the box next to tree folding. Some people like to work without the expand collapse icons next to their shapes. If you want to add or remove these toggles, go to setting in the top menu and uncheck or check collapse expand. Now we'll switch gears and discuss two tools that you'll probably find very useful when building mind maps in Draw.io. Those two tools are the brush tool and sketch mode. So the brush tool or the freehand tool allows you to annotate and sketch directly onto the canvas. To access this, click on the pen icon in the left side menu. Then you can check the brush option and change the width of the pen that you are drawing with. When you're finished drawing, simply press the escape key to exit freehand mode. Now sketch mode is a little different. You can toggle it on and off to give your shapes, colors, and connectors a sketch texture. This gives your diagram a more creative, deconstructed feel. To activate it, select all the elements in the diagram and then select sketch in the right side menu. You can export your mind maps in a variety of formats including PNG, JPEG, PDF, even HTML. This is useful if you wanted to add your diagram to a presentation or if you just simply wanted it in an offline format. Draw.io is packed with a wide variety of features to make your mind mapping session a creative, collaborative, and personalized process. Mind maps are the starting point to truly great ideas that have the potential to change the world. Start mind mapping today with Draw.io. You can try it free for 30 days. Subscribe to learn more about the in and outs of Draw.io. Leave a comment, hit the like button, and until next time, happy diagramming.